Somebody asked me a question, can you use a regular Sharpie on a gel plate? So welcome back friends. Yes, you can use a regular Sharpie. Today we're going to draw some circles, some multiple line circles that also intersect. And then we're going to put some paint, or some paint in the center of the circles, and then pick up with some Titan buff. So let's get to it. Okay, so today we're going to try to do a Sharpie fine point. When they say fine point, they don't mean that fine. It's That's kind of what it looks like. So to me, that's not a fine point. The ultra fine point is what I would call a fine point. But anyway, that being said, this is a permanent marker. Sharpie. It's very similar to the Magnum one that I did a video on. So somebody asked me about this uh, in the comments and I'm going to do a video on this. So I had this idea of doing like circles and then just trying to put some paint inside the circle. Now obviously it's going to go outside the circle. I tried this with a brush. It did not work. It was a, a mess because the, the paint was on there too thick. There's a reason why we brayer on the plate. Um, anyway, this is not the proper type of um, brayer to use, but it's the only one I have that's the size. I got to get myself a small one um, of the, you know, the rubber type. So this will probably never come off. Actually, I got this. This was like a regular print making uh, from a shop. My mother worked always at printing companies, and this was probably to be used on a um, metal press or something um, with like hot type, you know. I'm not really sure, but I found this in her house and I took it. Glad I did because I this is the size that I needed, and actually, I think it's going to work. So, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is draw the circles, and then we'll worry about paint. And I'm going to also use some stamps. So I bought these on Amazon. I love them. They're very versatile. They're also not made for gel printing, this kind, you know, but I, I just love. Um, the paint is building up on it, eventually a peel off, I guess. Um, but these are the kinds of things that I like to use. All right, so let's just draw some circles. I'm sticking a little. I'm going to go a little lighter this time. So, of course, we have to wait for this to dry. It's very important that you wait for your marker to dry. I'll be right back. So I will say this dries very quickly. Uh, even quicker than the, um, the Magnum Sharpie because obviously it's not as thick. So I'm going to use some of these paints that I had put into these bottles. I want a light, a very light coat. something else on this one. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm going to again let this dry. I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I might soften the edges. Okay, I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so now I'm going to pick this up <clears throat> with some Titan Buff. So technically this is three layers with that final pickup layer, but it's still a simple uh, layering process, but with a single pull. Okay, let's... That is fun. So I think with the right colors, like I probably should have picked another color for here. I would love to add a green to this or maybe do a page that has like, you know, um, a brighter red. Let's do brighter colors. Let's go with like a quinacridone red, maybe a manganese blue. Let's do something brighter. But I'm just afraid that the, the black... I want the black to really show through, but let's, and let's also try some other texture. Let's, let's do a few, a couple more. On this one, I'm going to try to be a little tighter with my marker and you have to kind of do it light because it wants to stick to the plate and, it, and then it skips oh I like the way that one came out okay so we're skipped over here I might try to fill that in all right, so we'll wait for that to dry. While we're waiting for this to dry, and you can see how fast it dries, um, I'd like to just quickly tell you about my new Patreon channel. I just launched it the other day on March 1st. I already have like, I think five members. So it's a startup channel, so there's not much in there yet, but I promise you I will be populating it quickly. Oh, it looks like we're drying already, almost. Let's um, give it another couple of seconds. Anyway, I'm going to have more collage, more jelly printing, uh, a little behind, a little bit more about behind the scenes. I will not have to worry about the algorithm of YouTube. I'm free to do anything I want over on Patreon. So, and the community. I want to meet you guys. I want to actually meet you guys. So the first 20 people who sign up are going to be invited to a Zoom call where we can really meet and see each other on camera and talk and have a QA. and a um, You could decide. I'm, I might actually do a poll where you decide what we talk about that first, that first call. So no matter what level, 5, 15, or 20, you'll be invited to the Zoom call. 
All right, let's get back to this. It is dry. Pretty sure even in this heavy area. Yep, yeah, it's dry. Okay. I did like the yellow, but I want to mix that yellow with a little bit of something. So let me see if I can get another plate out here to mix on. Okay. Let me stick it up here. I still need my paper. I want to warm that up a bit. I'm going to just add a touch of Indian yellow. Maybe, maybe another touch. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a pretty color. So let's see. See, the problem is this brayer is not not really picking it up. So let me just try this color. So, and let me just mix it. Okay. So I have this green. Let's do green gold over here. These are very transparent colors. Let's get this one wiped off a little bit. And we'll end with the cardacridone red. So here we're really A nice all right now I'm gonna put some this is my favorite that you can't get anymore We're going to let that dry. Kind of got messed up here. All right, so we're going to take a, um, this again. I want to get this thickness off because that's not going to dry. I actually like some of the roughness around the edges, so especially right here. I love the way that came out. So I'm going to leave that. We're going to let this dry. And look at this paper. So I've been making some printables out of these, uh, these brayer off sheets because they're so beautiful. So I'm making printables that I'll be offering on my website or also, also on Patreon. Every week there's going to be another uh, printable. They're not always going to be like this, but this is an example of what some of them will look like. All right, I think this is dry enough. Let's again try to pick this up with some tight and buff. Okay, I need to clean my brayers. <laughs> I am out of Murphy's oil soap. Oh, and I forgot to get it this week. So anyway, this was not very dry. But I have a feeling that might actually give us an interesting result there. So let's sometimes nice things happen. Okay, so let's pick this up.
the green gold was on there a little bit thicker and I could not get it to dry. The rest of it obviously was very dry. I like it. Wow. I really love the combination of the two colors and what it did with the stamp in here. That's fantastic. The blue, and I've noticed it with this before, this manganese blue hue does lace very easily, but even that doesn't bother me. And of course, this is where we have um, it doesn't seem to be here. It just wasn't dry, so it kind of smeared. But this is a lot of fun, and so is this one. Um, they will be torn up and put into collage. I also like the way some of the green mixed in with my, um, because it wasn't dry, it kind of smeared all over with my Titan Buff. But this is definitely, let's compare to the lighter pastel type. Um, I just, I thought this was going to be good, but I, I'm liking the stronger colors. And I also like the tighter circles um, where I overlapped a little bit more, like better than this loose, loosey-goosey here. Um, I like it tighter. So I'm going to go and draw another one like that. And we're going to let that dry. So as you can see from the last time, it only takes about a minute. So I'll be back in a minute. It is dry. So we're going to start here with this yellow. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this. The way I lift it. I also love this one. So this way I alter the texture a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. I love the way, I think that was a good decision, putting that slight little bit of blue <clears throat> in the middle of the green gold. I might try that on a couple of others. I think this will be nice. 
Let's let this dry. This, this takes about, I don't know, two to three minutes. There we go. So now we're going to lift this again with the trusty Titan buff. <laughs> like how this came out look at this one right here that is beautiful so obviously I had a little bit of the green gold still on my brayer and it mixed a little bit and we got some really beautiful um, variation in the color and I even like the way the texture came outside of here and I like the rough edges that I'm getting so definitely I'm going to get a, a this size brayer because uh, I want to do this a lot, I think. Anyway, that's a lot of fun. I really look forward to cutting this up and put into a collage. So what we, what we have today, we just have this one and this one. Uh, I think I like this one better. And I also have this one. And what you didn't see was my test, which was this one. But I think these are better, for sure. I do like even the variation in the background on this one. But this one's my favorite. Especially this one. So let me know what you think. I really love this process. I also want to try picking up just the black lines with some matte medium I th and then overlaying that on top of another print. I think that's a great experiment. Next time. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's keep going with the, with the Sharpies. I think they're great. Let's use some color ones next time. I will do this again. Don't forget to create, inspire, and share. Take care. Bye-bye.